And honestly, there's a lot more to be made. So if this video gets not 200, but 500 likes within a week, I will make a part three. Oh my. Howdy peeps. It's the Pinking here. And you'll just keep blowing my expectations. I just cannot believe it. But hey, a deal's a deal. So once again, I'm going to be drawing your suggestions in the Dinosaur King style. But just like last time, I also left a poll up that over 1,000 of you voted on. So these are some of your most popular suggestions. Also, like I said last time, it is time to name the prior dinosaurs. First up, we have Mides is Drippy, and they have given the Mosasaurus the name Mossy. Now, there were a lot of suggestions for the Mosasaurus, but I feel Mossy is the most fitting. So everyone, meet Mossy, the Mosasaurus. Next, we have Crimson Umbreon 4475 with the name for our Pyroraptor. So let's give a warm welcome to Ember, the Pyroraptor. And finally, we have Mango Taurus with the name for the Dino Kyrus. So let's give a big welcome to Evergreen, the Dino Kyrus. Thank you all for the name suggestions as always. If you didn't get mentioned here, then be sure to leave your name suggestions for these dinosaurs in this video for another chance to be mentioned. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want a part four, then we're not doing 200. We're not doing 500. But if this video gets 1k likes within a week, then I will make a part four. You guys have broken both of my prior goals within a day. So, no more like goals. I'm not taking it easy on you this time. It's 1k likes or nothing. You have a week. So get to liking. And with that, let's begin. You all have been begging for the longest time, especially Ramon Magix, who has also kindly suggested a move card. This one was one I've been dreading to do for a while. Brachiosaurus is a very weirdly shaped dinosaur, and considering what the sauropods in the show looked like, I wanted to try a new way of designing one. I made the neck extra thick while making the back much more slanted. I made sure to give the Brachiosaurus accurate feet and not elephant ones. And remember I did that because accuracy will completely go out the window by the last one, just so you know. In terms of colours, I went for a more peaceful, grassy colour, with some elegant stripes to help make the design pop more. And for its attacks, as suggested before, we have Stomping Magnitude. When the Brachiosaurus stomps on the ground, it causes a ton of fissures, resulting in parts of the earth itself to go flying into the air. And with one last stomp, the pillars of earth and rock come flying down, crushing all opponents in the way. A very creative attack, I will say. But I like it. And so, may I present you all... Brachiosaurus. <laughs> A rather surprising suggestion, but one with a lot of potential. Xenotaurus 7 has suggested Dimetrodon. And yes, I know it's not a dinosaur, but we did the Mosasaur in the previous one, so this one's got to count also. <laughs> After all, it is a prehistoric creature. And for this one, I wanted to try an element I haven't done yet. The Earth element. So for this, I stick with some more purple colours, with a sail that glows a bright pink. Why you ask? Well, it's for its move attack, which I'm calling Rubble Saw. 
the Dimetrodon will dig into the earth, leaving its sail exposed and to glow, and thus it digs towards its opponents, using the powerful sail to slice through all opposition, and then finally rise from beneath them and soar into the enemy's belly. I'm going to be honest, I really wanted to make this attack so I could nickname the Dimetrodon Landshark. <laughs> like, I mean, it's so fitting. <laughs> but with that, I present you all, Dimetrodon. <laughs> And now finally, the moment you have all been waiting for, and the one who won all the votes, Dilophosaurus. Now wait, before you comment, I know, I know, I included the frill on the Dilophosaurus. I was really debating whether or not to include it, as it's not accurate, but I feel it helps make the design stand out more. And it plays into its move attack, a attack I'm calling... Gust of Fury, where the Dilophosaurus' frill will open up with such force that it will send a powerful gust of wind towards the enemies before it flaps its frill to catch the enemies in a lasso of wind before swirling them in the air like a vortex to throw them into the distance with such powerful force. Now, I know it's ridiculous, but considering it's Dinosaur King, I feel it deserves a little pass, come on now. And so, for this design, I took inspiration from Chameleons, funny enough. As I thought, since I'm going to include the frill, I might as well embrace the lizard theme. So that's why I included a stripes and a curly tail. But enough stalling. May I present you all? Dilophosaurus. <laughs> And there you have it, peeps. Three more designs to add to the rest. And now we have 10 dinosaur cards in total. Tell me in the comments, which one was your favorite? And don't forget, if you want a part four, then get this to 1000 likes. You have a week, so get to liking. Thank you all for watching. And to give this video a proper send off, here's some of the art that you guys have sent me through my Discord. As always, link is in the description if you want to join. And with that, I will see you all next time.